Hi, I'm Brian Sparks, Senior Editor of Greenhouse Score Magazine, and I'm joined today by Chris Higgins, the President and General Manager of Port Americas. Port Americas is, is one of the title sponsors for Greenhouse Growers' upcoming Grow Executive Summit, uh, which takes place next month in Charlotte, North Carolina. Chris, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Brian. Sure. I uh, wanted to ask you first about uh, why Hort Americas uh, decided to get involved in participating in our Grow Executive Summit events. Well, there's a couple of reasons. Number one, um, our business has changed quite a bit over the last you know, two years with the pandemic and th rethinking about how we're doing things and kind of reevaluate, trying to pivot with the different opportunities and, and different situations that are being created in what is a constantly changing horticultural business environment. Um, one of the things that we did through the course of the pandemic was we started working with our partner, General Electric, uh, which is now known as GE Current, which helps us build LED grow lights. We started to work on building those lights in the United States. Um, for me, I like to describe this as dumb luck with all of this, with all of the problems that we're, we're faced right now with logistics and getting materials on time. Um, manufacturing in the U.S. has been a blessing. Uh, we've been able to keep our lead times and those components that um, do still come from Asia are much smaller, you know, much smaller material fit in small boxes and those small boxes can more easily be air freighted than trying to air freight an entire light fixture. Um, and it just so happens that where we're manufacturing those lights are, are in Hendersonville, North Carolina, uh, just over an hour drive from Charlotte. So that for me was, you know, I want to make sure we're involved with the local community. The team at GE Current wants to make sure they're involved with the local community. And we saw this show pop up. It wasn't on our radar until we realized it was happening in North Carolina. And one of the, the key, uh, I think the keynote speaker is Jonathan Webb from App Harvest. And App Harvest just happens to be the grower partner that we worked with to get this project off the ground. So when we saw that, we thought, well, we've got to be there. Number one, we want to learn more what's about what the growers feel they're facing over the coming year. But number two, we want to continue to support the industry um, that has been supporting us. Great. So it, this industry, as we head into 2022, has been a, a couple of strong years for a lot of the growers in the industry. Can you talk a little bit about some of the key priorities uh, that Hort Americas has kind of set in place as we move into 22 and how you're looking to help growers kind of continue uh, to ride that wave into the coming year and some of the important issues that uh, need to be addressed to help them hit, hit the goals that they want to hit? Yeah, well, first, I think that it's important for me to say that when we look at the industry, we might have a broader view of the industry than some of the growers have had a really good two years because for a lot, for us, a lot of our growers are food producers and 2020 was not as good for the food producers because there was a lot of strain on supply chain, a lot of strain on food safety. So they had a, they had some very high costs that they had to implement into their system to make sure they were meeting uh, ever-changing food safety uh, uh, demands from their consumer and their customers. So while the ornamental growers had some amazing times, um, some of the food producers, they, they struggled. They struggled to continue to adapt and to change. And so this last year has been pretty good, and I think we're seeing everybody recover. But in the scope of the whole greenhouse uh, industry, you know, controlled environment agriculture through vertical farming, through ornamental production of, of floriculture crops and nursery crops, um, I think everybody has had different experiences. Um, in addition to that, we look at what we're, what we're all now faced with, with the growth we've had, with the increased in interest in our industry, we also have to look at how we're managing supply chain. Just as business is growing, it's becoming harder and harder for us to get the consumables we need to grow our business. Just as our businesses are growing, the cost to build a greenhouse has increased anywhere between 15 and 25 percent. So as we look at those things, those challenges are, are now part of our ability to grow and capitalize on the opportunity that the market has given us. Chris, thank you for uh, joining us today. We are very excited to have you uh, in Hort Americas at the Grow Executive Summit. And uh, for those who haven't signed up yet, we look forward to seeing other folks uh, Come and join us. So, Chris, thank you very much. Thank you. I look forward to seeing everybody in Charlotte.